Hi, good morning friends. So today we are going to discuss about a new topic that is imputed cost in economics. Here we are going to discuss imputed cost in economic point of view. Imputed cost is an economic cost. So how in economics it will be calculated? Those things only I am going to be explained in this particular presentation. So first, let's see what you mean by imputed cost. Imputed cost, an economic cost which a firm does not pay for with money to the another firm but is the opportunity cost of the factors of production the firm itself owns. So here normally cost means what when we are purchasing raw material or when we are purchasing capital or paying wages those things will be considered as to the cost to the business. But that is a normal cost but in economics here one thing one more special thing is comes this is an opportunity cost of factors of production that means that when a company if you are taking an example of a company there is so many resources land labor capital and entrepreneur these factors of productions will have an opportunity cost that particular opportunity cost only we are calculating here that particular cost will be considered as imputed cost Normally cost means we will think that yeah how much amount of money we have to pay to the other firms but here imputed cost case it is an opportunity cost of the factors of production we are already on. So that's what we are calling imputed cost. This is an example of an imputed cost in case of labor. A street trader working on her own will calculate that she has made $50 profit on a day's trading. However, this may not include the value of her own time if she include have earned $40 working in another job for a day. Then her economic profit is only $10. Hence the opportunity cost of her labor must be included as an economic cost of production. So here when we are discussing about uh, one particular example about the labor. We can feel that a street trader normally she used to make a $50 profit a day. But if she is working in another company, she should get at least $40 from that particular job. Then the real profit of the real economic profit of her is just $10 only. But in accounting, you will say yes, she gained a profit of $50. So we will say $50. But in economic profit, we have to be minus her opportunity cost that how many amount of time she is working there. So that one we will have a $40 opportunity cost. So economic profit minus opportunity cost you will be get a real economic profit of the labor. Okay. Then in the case of financial capital an entrepreneur may start a company with his own money investing say is at $50,000. An economic cost of production must include the opportunity cost of that startup capital. But when we are saying that one person is investing a money of 50,000, then we will be saying, yeah, that is his investment or his cost, we will be saying that. But when it comes to the economic cost, we have to be consider the opportunity cost of this money. This 50,000, instead of investing into a company, he or she may can invest, save it into the bank. If she could have earned 10 percentage per year, an alternative investment in the economic cost of we can able to say that if he or she can able to save that particular money then at least a 10 percentage interest rate she used to get per annum so that means that we can able to say that five thousand dollars per year that five thousand is an alternate opportunity cost of that particular financial capital so that five thousand will be considered as imputed cost in economics so instead of investing into the business, if we are saving that particular money into the bank, we will be get a uh, 5,000 as an interest rate. Then that 5,000 interest rate, in normal accounting sense, we will not consider that an opportunity cost. But in economic concept, we will be consider that 5,000 as an opportunity cost of this financial capital. So that 5,000 will be considered as imputed cost in economics. Then we will be discussing about the depreciation. The economic cost of depreciation is the difference between purchase price and a resale value of a good. So we can have to say that what is the depreciation everyone knows that. A car for instance a car depreciate on the average by 40,000. Suppose a company paying a $20,000 for a new car. A company is paying a $20,000 for a new car which depreciate by a 40% over its first year. Then it has an asset value worth of 12,000 at the end of the year. 
So, P1000 is the monetary value of the opportunity cost of keeping the car rather than selling it to the end of that year. So, we can see that after one year in accounting, we will be considered the monetary value 12,000 of that particular thing. But the real, we can able to say the difference between these two that the 8,000 rupiah value is gone down, 8,000 dollars value is depreciated, is it? That will be considered as an opportunity cost of keeping that particular vehicle. For example, when you keep, when we just say that if you are keeping that particular vehicle in the start of the year, means yeah, that's 20,000 is opportunity cost, is it? But now at the end of the year, you are keeping that means that asset value is only 12,000. So the 12,000 is a monetary value of the opportunity cost of keeping that car rather than selling at the end of the year. Did you go to the idea? Then next, when we know about the goodwill of the company, a firm trading over a number of years may acquire a good reputation. It may produce a branded goods with become well-known brand names. For example, we can able to take a well-known branded products like a uh, Hero Honda, just example, just taking Hero Honda as an example. A goodwill of these brands has an opportunity cost. They could be sold to a rival company. For example, just imagine that uh, a Hero Honda is going to be sell one of his company. Just a company only they are selling. That means the material assets like the machinery, those materials that plays the land, the building, everything. They are not selling the brand name. In that particular case, you can just imagine that the value will be comparatively less. If the buyer saying that I need that brand name even, you have to sell your brand name even. That means that he can produce the same product with the name of Hero Honda. Then it will be get the customer base enough. But that time, that particular firm will be charged a very high price for that particular company. So how much additional they are charging, that is a charge for the goodwill. That will be considered as an imputed cost. Therefore, the interest on the uh, interest not received on the potential sale value of these must be included as an economic cost. But what are the things we discussed? I, I know that it is entirely different from the uh, other cost. That's what we are saying that economists defer the use of the word cost from accountants, tax inspectors, business and others. So sometimes when you hear these things, you will feel entirely different. Why it is entirely different? Yes. In economics, these costs will be considered as an opportunity cost. When we are calculating about the economic profit, we will be considered this opportunity cost even. Anything, we will be considered this opportunity cost even. So, let's check an example. So, in this example, we can able to see that a woman runs her own business. We can able to say that one normal entrepreneur or a normal person starting a business. In this particular business, she was standard over a one year period of time, she must have paid 18,000 for the material cost. So, material cost 18,000 will be considered as a cost. She paid it to the other company to buy material. That's why we are considering as a, it is an accounting cost, normal cost. And 9,000 as a wage. 9,000 even one company paid to the labor. So, that is also considered to be the wage cost. Then, capital. Capital means buying in account, in economics terms, capital means the man-made resources used in the production. So, she spent around, we can able to see it here, around 40,000 worth of amount of money for buying capital tied up with the business. So that's what we have said that 40,000 is also be considered as an accounting cost. So total cost of her business is around 67,000 and total revenue she already, she in that passage they given as a $60,000. So I consider as a total revenue as 6,000 but cost is 67,000. So we can able to say that normal way she used to get around 7,000 loaves. Okay. When it comes to the economic point of view, that particular land if she given for the rent, she should get around $10,000 as the rent from the land. And if she is working in the school, full time means she will be get 30,000. Now she is working only part time. That means the remaining time, that means another part time that will be considered as 15,000. That 50,000 will be considered as an opportunity cost. Instead of in this business, she can able to work in full time in the hour, she will be getting how much? $30,000 a year. But now she is working only part time. So that's what I read is 15,000. Then she got only 15,000. That is her opportunity cost. Instead of working in the company, she should have working full time in the school, means she will be getting 15,000. That's what I added here. Then, they said that interest rate is 5 percentage per annum. I am calculating per yearly. So that she, uh, from that bank, if you are getting a 5 percentage per year means we will be get around 3,000 
$350 as an interest from the bank. So these things will be considered as an opportunity cost. So comes here, question, first question, on the basis of these figures, what were the cost she actually paid out? We can have to say these are the three costs she actually paid out, the material cost, the wage cost and the capital cost. Okay, and what were her economic cost? Economic cost is the thousand, uh, $10,000 as a rent from the land that she, she didn't pay, but the land had the opportunity cost. Then wage from the school. Instead of she starting a, running a business, she can have to work full time in the school so that she will be get around 15,000 like that. So 15,000 is her opportunity cost. Then instead of this capital money invested, she can able to save that one in the bank. Then she will be get around how much? We can able to say the total 67,000 she spent, isn't it? That money she can able to save it in the bank, isn't it? From that bank, she will be get around the interest rate around 3,350. That will also be considered as an opportunity cost. So total opportunity cost is $28,350. So when you are calculating economic loss, we can able to see that total accounting loss is 7,000. Minus opportunity, uh, for example, we can have to say 60,000 minus, uh, we can have to say that minus 67,000 plus we can have to say that 28,350, that is on the opportunity cost. When we add means we can able to get a economic loss because the figure will become minus, minus 35,350, that's what we are calling it is an economic loss. Did she make a profit last year? No, she didn't make any profit. She made a loss of 7,000 loss in accounting point of view. In economic point of view, she made a loss of 35,350. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you guys will understand.